Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me on the Monica S. Martinez Live TV. Thank you for coming back week after week after week. I want to apologize for last week um, where we had some personal stuff going on. We are patiently awaiting our guest narrator. So as soon as she comes, we'll get this party started. Uh, you are welcome to ask any questions if you need to in the comments. And we will also be on Facebook Live as well. So as soon as she signs in there, we'll get that party started as well. And I want to give a quick shout out to GMA.com for these amazing headsets. Check that out. It's the color of my logo. How sweet is that? And the sound quality is really good and portable. So you can kind of just go like this, take them with you wherever you want to go. And you will be really, really happy. Let's see what's going on with our guest. See if she showed up. <clears throat> All right, let's see where she is. So um, for you guys who are watching on YouTube, again, I say thank you for joining me week after week after week. I just got finished cooking and like stuffing my face, so that's why my hair is up and I look this way. That's what I wanted to say. Um, let's give a big shout out to Taino Inc. for the happy comings. If you are following me, you are watching, uh, all the clients taking pictures and sending them to me. They're coming in slowly, but we just restocked. So if you're interested in getting your t-shirt, feel free to inbox me on Facebook and you can find me on all social media websites, Monica S. Martinez, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Monica Sex Martinez. Uh, well, it's Monica underscore sex underscore Martinez. Uh, for Instagram, I have two pages, so feel free to follow on any of that. On Snapchat, I could be followed at Amani, M-O-N-N-I-E, 226, and Monica S. com. so check me out on that as well. We're still waiting on her to join us. I don't want to keep saying the same thing over because I'm going to have to repeat that when we get on to Facebook. So we'll wait patiently here. And I just want to um, remind you guys that we were doing ladies' night out at Confetti painting at 1800. What? No, that's not 1800. What am I talking about? That's south of France. We'll be doing an event there in October, actually. So let me get the correct address for confetti one second but it's it's in the bronx and we're doing that on september 13th so ladies come come out get educated i'm gonna have goodies for the first 10 ladies that come in you'll be given a tantalizing goodie and as everyone knows monica gives the best tantalizing goodies so let's see she still hasn't come on and I'm looking for confetti, so give me one second, guys. Okay, so it's Confetti Party Place. And that is 3190 West Chester Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10461. And it's from 7 to 9, and we're having, like, happy hour. We will be having cupcakes and wine and lots of fun. Come out, enjoy. Okay, so waiting on the list to see what we're doing here. Um, why isn't B live letting her hang on? Okay, so why? Hmm. 
So she's having difficulty getting on V Live. Hold on one second. So we're trying to get her over to Facebook. <clears throat> so, I mean, not Facebook, sorry guys, to YouTube. And we're still going to wait for her. Guys, make sure to check out tantalizingproductions.com for the Happy Cummings Tri-Monthly Club where you get a box full of toys quarterly to help spice up your relationship. Make sure to check us out because we, you know, put really nice toys inside. We have full-size toys, some samples, and also some lubes, and you never know what you're going to get. So check it out tantalizingproductions.com and again if you're interested in our t-shirts the happy comings we want to give a shout out to Taino Inc. for making those for us but you could get these happy coming t-shirts directly from me so if you inbox me in Facebook on Instagram live not live Instagram DM you can get access to these t-shirts as well See what's going on with our guests. <laughs> so if she doesn't log on into on to be live, what's going to happen here is that they're just not going to let the broadcast take place, and then I'll just go live directly. So we'll see what happens with that as we await our our guest, Nareda. All right, let's see where she is. We have got questions ready for her. We are ready to get busy on this. So as we um just were waiting on our guests for the evening, um, I think I'm gonna go live on Facebook without the be live because she's having difficulties getting on for whatever reason. And again, guys, I apologize for the hair up, but I just got out of the kitchen. And really quick, let's, you know, give a huge heartfelt shout out and prayers to the people in Texas. Hopefully, you know, they all can find places to go and be safe during this really bad weather for them. Um, our hearts go out to them. And if you can donate, please donate to the Red Cross to assist these families in getting the proper shelter and care and stuff. So September 13th, I will be at Confetti Party Place for Ladies Night Out. So all you ladies, come out. We're going to do happy hour. There's going to be cupcakes. There's going to be wine. First 10 ladies are going to get in for free. Not free, I'm sorry. Are going to get a free gift. Sorry about that. I'm like losing. Okay. So let's see what we're doing. Where is she? Okay, so let's close out here. And let's see if she's over here yet. She's not with us as of yet. We're going to wait patiently. Hmm. We're waiting and see what's happening here. Okay, so 
I guess I'll be right back. I just want to get the silver bullet so we can talk about that while we wait on her. Okay. We got the silver bullet here. Um, and again, the first 10 ladies that get to confetti on September 13th from 7 to 9 will be given a silver bullet. And silver bullets are great for breast stimulant, pit stimulant, and also on the guys' scrotum. It's also great if you host it here. While it vibrates, you can hear the vibration. So that's great for oral sex. Okay, so check that out and uh, check TantalizingProductionsOut.com where we offer all sorts of toys to spice up the relationship and bring back intimacy into the relationship. So feel free to check us out there and make sure you visit me on monicasmartinez.com and I think Nareda is here. Excellent. So let's see. Oh no. The broadcast ended on on B Live. Damn. Because we didn't get on time. So they usually just cut it off. So are you not able to get on to the Google? Let me let me just back up. Okay, so I'm gonna um, see if Dillis could redo the broadcast for live because live, if you don't sign on within, I think, like 10 minutes, they automatically take you off. You look beautiful, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's been a while. We haven't spoken since, um, we haven't spoken since the thing. Hold on one second. Let me see if she can. can can you do it again? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna see if it lets her do it. And you were having difficulties getting on Google? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so she's gonna um, try to do it again. So we, we may have to like uh, log off of this link and it may give us a brand new link. Um, so yeah, see it says Facebook deleted your schedule broadcast because you didn't go live one time. They're just sticklers here. <laughs> They're like really strict. Um, so I'm gonna, are you on Facebook as well so that we can just send you a new link? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this one and then um we'll come back. Okay? okay. All right. Bye. All right, bye. So let's try this again. Okay. All right guys, we're trying to go on um be live again. You should be able to let's see. All right, guys. Let's see. 
And also, I hope that you guys um, checked out the flyer with the new time. We will be start starting the broadcast on Tuesdays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So make sure you visit us here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Uh, we will be off next week, uh, be on vacation. So the following week, actually, wait, no, next week, the next two weeks, I will not be on because we are on vacation. We have the Labor Day, and then I'm away until the following week. So you guys are going to have a two-week break. I'll miss you, doll. See what we're doing here. Sorry, guys, just be patient with me. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's go and log in, create a new broadcast. Interview. I'm copying the new link. Let's go here. All right, so let's see. All right, so I'm back on here. We're going to be headed to be live, guys. Okay, so we're gonna um, restart the broadcast here on the Be Live. And she can't log on to YouTube. Great, I am so glad. We're gonna go ahead and just start the broadcast, okay? Okay. All right, great. All right, start live broadcast. All right, four, three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Monica S. Martinez Live. We have a special guest in the house. We were having difficulties getting onto Google, but I am still live on Google as well, guys. So, Nareda, how are you, beautiful? Very, very good. Can you um, give a little feed to our clients as to who you are and what you do? Very nice. So you're an educator. You're we're talking how young are we talking for the youth? Nice. Because it's important to talk to our youth about sex, right?
Very nice. So, Narita Herman, guys, if you have questions, feel free to hit us right here on the live comments. We will get to them. Uh, people are saying hello. The D essence, of course, she's on, and she's like my bestie, my roadie, <laughs> Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn, Roger, uh, Evelyn Rivera. Hello, beautiful. Thank you for joining us. And again, guys, I want to say thank you for joining us week after week after week. We are here every Tuesday, but actually, we're not going to be here for the next two Tuesdays. Um, I'll be away, so. Uh, make sure you visit us on tantalizingproductions.com, monicasmartinez.com. Nareda, are, are, there, are there any social media sites where, you know, if parents are having difficulties talking about sex to their children that they can kind of reach out to you or do you do like um, <laughs> Perfect. So I have some questions for you. Um, hold on, let me grab that up. But it's great to see you. So I really thank you for joining us. And I'm sorry we were having difficulties with the Google Hangout, which isn't anything brand new with them. <laughs> okay. So you already answered how long you've been uh, sexually reproductive health educator you said 16 years correct okay now what made you want to get into this particular field or is this something you just kind of ended up in Very nice. So, so when you when you say that you educate them on like the actual act of everything and just all their organs, so to speak, and why they're different and what have you, how soon do you 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 say that we should have these conversations? As soon as ten years old. Absolutely not. I totally agree. Although, <laughs> what I do is um, based for grown adults. So, you know, we don't talk to anyone under the age of 18 um, in my field uh, for obvious reasons, right? So, Santos joined us and he's being ridiculous over here in the comments. I don't know if you can see that, but he's like, he used to love going to the uh, little girl's room when he was a little boy. He, he's horrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's crazy. 
So really quickly, we want to know what does a sex positive curriculum look like for you as far as um, with the youth? Um, But um, the concern is like they're young, right? So, I mean, they're not even mature enough to really understand what transpires as far as, you know, the sexual chemistry energy, so to speak, right? Because for me, sex is all about energy and be careful about who you are, you know, sharing your DNA with, so to speak, right? So are we educating the children as far as energy is a concern? Like, are they being well versed on the fact that like hey if you sleep with with you know a guy and if they go raw that dna will be with you for the rest of your life like are we are we at that point where we're educating these children about those you know like the misconceptions of sex right so they they just want to have sex to like you said maybe to please their you know little friend or what have you but are we exchanging those kinds of conversations with the youth Excellent. I, I love to hear that because, um, you know, as a sex educator, you know, for couples and women and stuff like that, I, I find myself having these conversations with them at this age. Uh, and, you know, like, and if the youth, are, you know, if they're having intercourse at earlier ages, yeah, then, you know, the concern is are they being educated about the energy and, like you said, knowing your worth, because I, I, I tend to think that, you know, people, they don't understand that. They don't really, like you said, it's, it's more of a physical aspect and they're not really understanding the fact that, you know, hey, you're going to be connected. You're going to be connected. You're, you're going to feel some type of way after, you know, it's all said and done. Um, some girls may end up crying. Like it's like the biggest regret of their life. Like they have, they, they really got to understand um, the whole aspect and 
I'm grateful for educators like you that are out there. Um, you know, we appreciate that. Like I have, you know, I have five children and we, you know, we've always been an open home so they could come and they can talk to freely about sex and stuff, you know. Would I like my children to have waited? Absolutely. But, you know, but the reality is, like you said, peer pressure, my friend's doing it. It's hot right now, you know. Um, Santos is saying he bought condoms for his boys in at the junior high school age. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess so, because people are losing their virginity earlier and earlier, unfortunately. Basically. Absolutely not. Yeah, and Evelyn is saying, yeah, you know what, parents don't really go that deep, like, in what you're speaking about. So the services that you provide are super amazing for the young adults. Um, Pamela, Pamela Harper is saying, you should always let your children know who they have sex with a part of that person's DNA stay with them. Well, we just had that conversation, Pamela. We just said um, that it is imperative that they know that they're exchanging energy. But yes, thank you. Uh, Evelyn says, I bought my daughter her first vibrator. Kudos to you. I mean, I, I have my respect for you. Like that, that's, you know, that's amazing because again, if she lost her virginity, you don't want her just going around sleeping around. So I parade to the first vibrator. I think masturbation has so many different qualities, um, positive qualities. One, just getting to know your body. Mm -hmm. You know what you like, what you don't like. So when you are ready to take that stuff with someone else, you can kind of tell them, like, hey, I like this, I don't like that. I couldn't, you want to eliminate the guessing game. You know exactly what you like and what you don't like. And then the other thing is if you're not ready for sex, because your body is naturally having a sexual or just like we do, or natural sexual scene, then you can masturbate. And you don't have to worry about, okay, I'm not ready to have sex with someone, I'm not in a relationship, and I'm worried about STDs, I'm worried about pregnancy. That's fine. You can masturbate, um, release some of that stress, get some of that sexual tension out. And you're still, you know, being safe and you're staying true to your, whatever your values are regarding sex. So I think masturbation is a great tool. I and love that, that. Um, <laughs> getting from child to vibrate is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's part, and, and studies have shown to people who, young know, people who masturbate, they tend to wait longer to have sex because a lot of times the sex is about, I'm having these sexual urges. What do I do with them? I'm naturally horny. Oh my God, I'm horny all the time. Like, this is a natural thing. Parents want to say, you can't stop that. <laughs> this is biology. You're going to get horny. Think back when you were a young person, when you first started to like feel a certain kind of way. That little twinkle between your legs. It's like, okay, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. If no one's educating me about my options and to have somebody whispering something sweet in my ear that makes that intensified, I'm going to kind of go that route. Because I'm like, hey, that, you know, that's something to do. That's going to help me with this little situation I got here. But if someone educates me, like, hey, you can mask me, you can do this, you can do that, then I'm like, oh, okay, I don't really want to mess with him or her because I can, you know, handle myself. So I'm ready. So being, just being open and candid is, is a great thing. It's amazing. Um, Evelyn is saying she bought that vibrator for her daughter, and her daughter was a virgin. Um, and that's still still kudos to you for even doing that. And um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like I said, sexual urges are sexual urges, whether you're a virgin or not. Like, that's great. That's awesome. And also, Elaine indicated she bought her daughter. A vibrator because she felt it was natural and she didn't want her daughter to deprive her body of pleasure if that's what she needed and wanted. So I'm loving our engaging audience here. Um, Laura says, My son 
was not having sex at 14. However, I felt it was important to have that talk and hand him condoms in order for him to be safe in the event he did and the same exact for my daughter which is great kudos because like i said you know my my kids were in an open forum here where i bought them condoms too and i've you know purchased my daughter of hybrid as well like this you know i don't I, i'm not encouraging you to have sex but if you're gonna do it i want you to be safe and understand all the you know things that follow with it so I see. Now, as far as educating the youth, do you take this further than just the youth? Like, so do you have other clients, like older women? Yeah, so speak? So it started with youth, and then it um, and then it um, graduated to also working with parents. Because then you start realizing that, like, we can educate the youth all day long, but um, they don't go home to us. They, they have families that have values that. That they're instilling in love and all, and I'm never trying to step on any parents' toes. But always let parents know that um, I'm here to kind of supplement, not to take over. Like you're the parent, you set the rules, you kind of give your kids the values, whatever it is that you want them to have. That's your job as a parent. Um, but I'm here to kind of supplement that. And also, there's some parents who just not comfortable having the conversation because they were never taught themselves. Um, so having the conversation with parents has been something that's kind of been rewarding and very interesting. I have some parents that are very reluctant and very, it can get, it can get very downright interesting and nasty sometimes with parents. Um, and then I've had some parents that are like, wow, I didn't really know that. Um, I've had some parent workshops where we're there to talk about how to talk to your kids and it turns into their sex life stuff. And it's like, well, I've never had an orgasm and I'm 45. Like, how do I have my husband see me? And I'm like, okay, wait, that's not my job. <laughs> that's that's awesome and again i thank you you know i thank you for providing this kind of service to our youth because I, to me it, it's totally important because then they become the adults that are sitting in my workshops and you know they, they don't know about orgasms or they've never really experienced any and i'm just like how do you go your whole life and not know what an orgasm is or how do you go your whole life without masturbating you know um so you know it's pretty awesome so as you know you know I, I'm, a, I'm a sex therapist for the adults with the toys and stuff how do you feel about sex toys i think they're great um i have a couple i have a nice little show of myself with a couple of little things um i think they're great i think it's good for solo play it's good for couple play i think it's i think they're awesome Awesome. Yeah. I, I, I'm pro, I'm pro yes, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Um, now, are we are we offering the services to to the youth as well? Are you letting them know that there are like vibrators? Um, let's just say. Yeah. It's a, that's a good question. So, um, I work for um, Sex Therapy. 
So, of course, there's interview rules and guidelines of things that we can and cannot promote. Um, but I definitely would have it like one on one. I may not do it in an open form of a, in a classroom setting. But if I have like a one on one with a student or someone uh, reaches out to me, sometimes kids will email or text me questions or other situations. Or just come back to my office and see me. Um, definitely on those more private one on one conversations, they definitely be had. Like just, just giving them all the options and letting them know, you know what's available to them so that they. So that they know that they not they, it's just not one shop. You can do there's so many different options for you. So if you are into like interested in masturbation or whatever it is, these are the things. It's so interesting. I had last semester I had a um, sixth grader and she joined the class, she 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 very boldly was like, I I masturbate and all the other kids are looking at her like what? <laughs> and then even the teacher looked at me like, Oh no and I'm like, It's okay and I was like, It's okay and I'm like, Well, you know, that's a healthy way to explore your body. She's like and she was honest about it and she just said, Well, yeah, I have these feelings and I don't know what to do with that. And she's like, My mom doesn't want me to do that but she was like, But my body feels a certain kind of way and it feels good when I do that. Is there something wrong with me? And I'm like, No, it's perfectly healthy and I think I can see the reassurance in her face and I was glad that I was able to let her know that it's okay, you're not perverted. Because the message she was getting from mom was she was perverted. Oh, and mom was basically awesome. like punishing her, like she was getting in trouble. Like she was like, my mom was punishing me, she finds that I do it. So I, I sneak in, I'm like, this is just horrible. Like, I'm like, you're me, you're coming to have a conversation. <laughs> Yeah, she could like, be yeah, out there. You know, just yeah, like masturbation is the least of your worries. I mean, if your child is, you know, masturbating instead of going out, I think that um, you're doing something right. Like, <laughs> they're choosing to love their, their, themselves, right? Um, but I was just very impressed with a young lady was not even afraid to even say it. And, I, and you can see some of the other kids, they probably thought about it, or even maybe they didn't use it, they were like, wow, she actually had the guts to say it. Um, but I, I encourage young people just to be honest and be, and just know that it's normal. I think the main thing when I'm having this conversation, especially with the younger ones, is it's normal. Because mm-hmm. um, so I think a lot of people, kids think that there's something wrong with them. And then if a parent is not necessarily having these positive conversations with them, then it doesn't feel like something's wrong with them. Like, okay, I'm sick, or I'm bad, or I'm evil, or I'm perverted because I'm having these thoughts, or my body's doing these things. Um, when I talk about like wet dreams, you have to see the boys' faces, they be like, oh, Like, I, I feel like parents who punish their children, that's like a traumatizing experience Definitely. for them, right? Because then they grow up thinking that, like you said, t- sex is taboo. So, there goes the husband. Say hi. <laughs> Silly. But, yeah, I mean, they, these people are going crazy over here with these comments and stuff. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if you see them, but... um. Evelyn indicated that she gave her daughter that vibrator at 14 and she is 30 or 31 and she's still a virgin. Cool. Wow. That's amazing. Like, that's amazing. So, yeah, and everyone's like, yay for toys, you know. <laughs> Especially for women. Um, I always tell, I tell the girls this all the time, my, my young students, that it's a lot easier for a male to reach orgasm and to ejaculate than it is for a female. Um, so, you know, for a guy, you have sex with a guy, he's like a couple of pumps and he's like, oh, this is amazing, and he, he's fulfilled. And then the girl is kind of sitting there like, oh, that's what sex is about? And it's like so Absolutely. sad. Like, you just have those kind of experiences. Yes. I'm like, no, that should be enjoyable for you too. Um, but a lot of times they just don't know their bodies. They don't know that the girls don't know their bodies, the boys are not trying to learn their bodies because for them it's like, oh, I just pump a couple of times and I feel amazing. So she must feel amazing too. And it's like, no, mm-hmm. she doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't. And you know, unfortunately, <laughs> that mindset rolls over to adulthood. Yes. 
Oh, oh it's sad. It it's is so sad. sad. I don't want to even that guy but you know yeah definitely <laughs> don't want to date that guy either so you know that's horrible um i have a question for you i just got text um they're saying well wait a minute if if we're giving our daughters vibrators and and they're not having actual intercourse are they still a virgin because they're inserting a vibrator Oh, the virginity conversation. Don't we love that conversation? Mm -hmm. um, virginity is really self-defined. Um, it's actually like a, a cultural concept, um, if you will. Um, so technically, people say virginity is someone never having had vaginal, anal, oral intercourse, right? Um, textbook, that, that would be virginity. Once you've had oral, vaginal, or anal, and, or you know, play with fingers or anything like that, then technically you're not a virgin. But again, it's very self-defined, so people define it very differently. You might have one person who has sex, oral sex, and they're like, I'm still a virgin because I've never had vaginal intercourse. And for them, that's fine. And you might have someone else saying, um, I've had anal intercourse, but I'm still a virgin because I have never had vaginal intercourse. And again, that's their definition. I think what we need to think about is why do we care about a term virginity? Like, what does it mean? Because um, if you think about it, it's really focused towards females and not males. Like, we never focus on a male losing his virginity. For a girl, it's something being taken away from her. Her purity, um, popping her cherry, um, her being uh, someone entering into her, into her universe. All these things that we have about um, virginity is more focused to a female than it is a male. So you have to think about where that comes from, right? Um, the idea that we are something to... Um, females are something that's a conquest, right? So it's like, oh, so you take a girl's virginity, it's like, oh, it's a great thing. You don't ever think about taking a boy's virginity, why not? Mm -hmm. Like, so I've had my own issues with the term virginity, but to me, I would say if a girl is masturbating, no, she's not taking her virginity because she's not having sex with another human being. That would be my thing, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna get has their own interpretation of virginity. Um, but I would say, no, that would be just the thing that's saying a girl using a tampon. Is she taking her virginity? She's using a tampon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so it's all about it's all about, I guess, perception. You hear that, Santos? Doing your crazy little comments over there. <laughs> We're gonna ignore him for a little bit. Um, so really quickly, we have another question for you. What is considered one of your favorite toys for the bathroom? Um, I like the bullet. Bullet is stable. You know, bullet is always good. Yeah, the bullet is good, and I also like my rabbit. Mhm. Mm I like the rabbit. Do you have the waterproof one? <laughs> I do not have the waterproof one. Ooh, I need to get. I need to my game. <laughs> yeah, and it it actually has the uh, metal beads, which are quieter. So okay. Yeah, so you don't get as loud as uh, a regular jackrabbit is which is pretty awesome. We're running, um, we're, we're almost like towards the end of the you know, conversation. So I just wanna let people know where they can find you if you know, maybe they, are, they wanna send their children to have a discussion because they're not comfortable with it. Um, if you can provide your information once again for everyone, that would be awesome. So you guys can email me at N Herman, so N H E R M A N 714 at AOL.com. So if you guys have questions, um, if there's parents that want to know how they can have a conversation with their kids and tips or advice, definitely um, shoot me an email. I'll be more than glad to give you some, some, some advice or some tips or even some resources of things that your young person can go to or you can go to um, to get some more information. That's awesome. I thank you for you know joining us and you know, we'd love to have you back. You're so beautiful and your energy is so awesome. <laughs> so guys, I just wanna say thank you for joining us again. And remember, we're off this for two weeks. So Dillis, I'm not sure if you hear that, but we're not coming back for two weeks. I think we'll be back on, and I'm gonna look at the calendar right quick and give the date, cause we're gonna, I'm gonna be away. So let's see. September. All right, our next show will actually be on September 19th. So, yes, thank you. I, oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to Puerto Rico. I'm so excited.
<laughs> so thank you for joining us. I would love to have you back again because you actually were a hit. People are loving it. I'm getting text messages. <laughs> so we would love to have you back. And guys, you know, Nareda has given you her email. Make sure you check her out. This video will be back on here tomorrow. I'm sure Dillis will be blasting it out. Yes, yeah, September 19th, Dillis. So we'll be, you know, playing this where people can, you know, see the video and obviously, you know, check you out and stuff. So again, I appreciate you coming out and hooray to the bullet. And as I say always, happy coming. So make sure you have them. <laughs> you too, honey. Vessels, everyone. Happy coming and get sex wasted. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys.